with another video i don't know if i'm audible or not because i'm not using a microphone so do bear with me guys if you actually can hear me <laughs> so yeah that's really funny okay so two days earlier i saw showed you a rom uh, based on android 7.1.1 for the u euphoria and that was truly the pixel os guys if you have not watched it here uh, here is a card wherever it is just do check it out guys it's a beautiful rom so today I bring to you the, according to me, uh, some of you guys will agree, the most anticipated ROM of 2016 or 17, I would say, is the XOSP 7 ROM. That is, it is based on Android 7.1.1. And I think, I don't even think, I should believe that you should watch this video, see what's it all about, how to install it, go ahead to your Euphoria and just do it. Just forget everything and just do it. Because you will not get a beautiful ROM like this, guys. Tons and tons of options are there, customizations are there, fluidity is there, and no bug is there, guys. <laughs> Believe me, no bug is there. Yeah, VLD is not supported, I think, or it is supported, I guess. I don't know, guys. Okay, so today let's just not waste time and let's get into the exchange business or the barter system. The Okay, cut the crap. Let's just see how to install and a quick overview of the... XOSP 7 that is based on Android 7.1.1 ROM for the UU4 yeah. and if you are wondering why the heck am I sitting in my interior and why is the quality so bad this is the fourth time I am shooting this video because every time the file gets corrupted I hope it does not get this time this is your interior from Freaks and Geeks let's get started what you need to ensure that your device is rooted and you have a custom recovery like EWRP recovery installed on your device then what you need to do is just switch off your device and press the power button and the volume down button together so if you continue pressing this this will boot your device into TWRP recovery so let me just show you I have TWRP recovery over here so I'm swiping the unlock so as you can see this is TWRP recovery after into TWRP recovery hit backup and it all the end systems and just back up your current ROM because if anything goes wrong you can always come back and restore your backup and then just hit wipe hit advanced wipe dalvik system data and cache and just swipe to wipe after you're done with that as well just go back hit install and as you can see we have xosp rlv rv unofficial this thing uh, go to add more zips so to root as you can see open gf 7.1 pico but uh, this should be ARM64 that's about it and then just go by and I just select it and just swipe to confirm flash and after you're done with that just go back hit reboot and hit system so this will boot your device into XOSP ROM that you have successfully installed so let me just show you the boot animation of the XOSP ROM so as you can see this is the boot animation of the XOSP ROM that is based on Android 7.1.1 so I'll be skipping things up and we'll see you on the next time after it is completed booting. A few moments later. So this is the default lock screen that you get once you are booted up. So let's just quickly go ahead and unlock it. So this is the home screen. As you can see, the wallpaper has undergone a change. Okay, so let's just, okay, I agree. So basically the default Expedia stuff, as you can see, let's just quickly go ahead and look at the camera. Okay, so this is the default camera that we have. Uh, that's pretty decent. Going back, as you can see, we have the new style keys. I don't know why Bluetooth is on. Let's switch off Bluetooth and let's just quickly go into settings and let's just swipe from here. As you can see, the swipe option is available. And okay, we have a lot of stuff over here. What is this? We have just a support. And the first, let's just quickly go to about phone. As you can see, XOSP project and we have what's Android version 7.1.1. As you can see, perhaps I was this is the most awaited ROM of the year, guys, which I was actually waiting for. So let's just go here and let's just go to XOSP settings and see what we have. So as you can see, a lot of customization options are available. Status bar icon. As you can see, let's just go back. We have auto height, clock style, quick pull down, brightness control, show notification count, blur color filters. We have all this as well. We have button, XOSP nav bar, switch, double tap to sleep. Nip won't show arrow while charging buttons and layout so we have a lot of things out here as you can see tons and tons of customization options are available music personalization step to wake and that's about it but i love the double tap to sleep navigation bar to put the device to save let's just switch it on so it's been half what do we have over here let's just allow okay i don't know what just happened 
okay it just restarted the ui okay we have this kind of nav bar and let's just switch it off once again and uh yeah okay so we are back with this kind of button left-handed mode buttons and layout and what else playback control so yeah this is pretty decent uh, as you can see we have all these things and let's just go over here blur personalizations pretty decent what are these colors doing and quick pull down we have okay just let me adjust the exposure okay that's pretty decent as you can see now let's just go back okay we just quit settings we didn't want to do that okay, let's just go over here let's just go into what else we have we have equalizer so we know more viper how can i use it okay i don't know what else we have over here let's just go to sony battery advisor okay what is this let's start battery advisor permission allow so basically it's a battery manager guys and i don't know what this, this will do but basically this will show you the thing okay and let's just click back okay once again let's go into settings let's go over here and we have let's see what do we have over here wow we have wow we have a lot of gestures let's just switch it on pocket pulse notifications on removal uh, this is basically a must must install rom guys uh, tons and tons of things are available over here okay, let's just go into settings one more time i don't know why i'm doing this and this is going to display okay sorry for the okay we have the basic stuff okay let me just adjust the exposure rotation settings ambient display wake on plug we have sound okay so that's the basic stuff we have what else do we have system profiles so as you can see it's just a revamped version and i tried out and you can see it's good notifications so the default thing nothing much and everything i will be happy to say that everything does work in this device and i'm pretty i'm damn happy with this rom and the way it has turned out to be we just crank down the exposure a bit so i am really really happy with this rom guys so that's yeah that's pretty much it from here uh, so what else do we have over here we don't really have anything else equalizer displays only battery gestures let's check this just once again flashlight messaging custom we have custom gestures as well so as you can see let's just look, quickly look at the C for the camera gesture okay let's just draw this gesture so as you can see this does open the camera the gesture is working so yeah that's pretty much it guys from here Bye bye. So after I shot the video and you saw the video, I can definitely say that I think you guys love the ROM, don't you? I mean, so many features. Uh, I was myself surprised, and I think I don't even think I should. I believe that you should. Def you guys out there should definitely try out this ROM. Leave it on all the other ROMs, guys. Leave it on the Resurrection Remix, and they are very common, guys. But we all love the XOSP, don't we? Sony XOSP is one of the best ROMs ever. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope that I was able to bring the latest and the greatest Android 7.1 ROM for the UU4DR to you guys out there who always want a ROM, who always want to uh, enjoy a new experience in their device. Experience, XOSP, experience. Yeah. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If this was, do give this video a like button hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already uh, i mean subscribe to my channel uh, because more such awesome videos on the uu euphoria and the redmi note 3 are gonna come very soon because i'm back to calcutta and i'm back to business so yeah i hope you enjoyed and stay a freak stay a geek that's all what matters because we are all geeks aren't we so yeah until next time Bye. Bye. Every day, till my time is gone.